Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today I am here with another Sew the Look. So my plan with this fall was to do a Sew the Look for each of the kind of fall months. Um, so I did one back in September um, and this was a, a loft top that I redid and now I'm doing another loft look. I, I must have clearly been drawn to the looks at loft um, this fall. But um, I wanted to do one for October and then do a third one for November and I don't know if that one is... I'll have to, I'll have to pull up the inspiration post. I can't remember where I pulled that one from. I know what it is but I just can't remember where I pulled it from. Um, but anyway, I thought that would be kind of fun because, you know, I do these, t you know, 10 ready-to-wear looks and, you know, the patterns and fabrics to sew them. Then I think it's fun for me to actually make some of them up to show you how you really can recreate ready-to-wear and kind of why you should. <laughs> I got on a soapbox back with my Seychelles top, I think, last month, so I'll try and keep myself under control a little bit more here. But I'm going to talk about why it was better that I made these pieces for myself and um, both not just monetary cost, but also with um, other things to consider when you are deciding whether or not to buy or to make. That being said, I am wearing a pair of ready-to-wear jeans today, so I obviously don't make everything I wear, I just make a lot of it. <laughs> All right, let's get going. So this was the post that I, or the picture that I had pulled. Um, this was a dress, or is a dress, and a jacket that is currently being sold at Loft. Both pieces are currently on sale as when I was filming this. Um, the jacket, which is called the cinch waist jacket, let see, what's it called? The cinch twill jacket, I've got it pulled up on my computer over here, um, and it's in an olive. And then we also have the floral pin duck, pin tucked flounce dress, which are the two pieces that the model is wearing, and that is what I have recreated here um, with my two pieces. Okay, so let's talk a few things about what, about the outfit that I could buy at Loft versus what I've made. Number one, um, the fabrics are a little different, so the jacket I think is more of a cotton twill and the dress pattern, while it is, I think it is a rayon, it is just a little bit different pattern. Same color background, it's kind of a real warm golden yellow, but um, the loft dress has like these little abstract shapes on it. It's a very cute fabric, um, but I think that this fabric I've chosen is even better and <laughs> both my um, personal preference with patterns as well as um, the quality of the fabric is really, really good as well. So buying this at Loft, and I'm trying to remember, okay, I wanted to make sure I gave you correct information. So the Loft dress isn't actually a button up, it just has like a placket on it, which does help things a, a little bit. Um, so I might be able to go in and buy this in the shops. However, um, with woven things, Again, I have issues with my bust. I may not have the gaping, but I will have to buy a bigger size to fit my bust, especially with wovens because there's not any give, um, and then I have shoulders that are too big. And one of the things about this dress is that it has a cute short-sleeved, um, again, just like, just like with last month, a really cute short-sleeved statement sleeve, um, which I think would probably be okay in the loft dress with me because it is a drapier rayon fabric. I can get away with a statement sleeve if it has some drape to it. But that being said, it would probably be one that would be too big for me in the shoulders anyway, and then I would have things falling off. Um, here, I'm going to set this over here right now falling off the edge of my shoulder and then it would just make me look wider up here than what I am. So that is are some things to consider. Um, also proportion is another thing to consider with this one. So the loft dress is a drop waist dress as is this one um, but I'm also only 5'2". So I have to be careful with where um, any kind of drop waist or any waist really that hits me where it falls. Drop waist is a little bit more forgiving. You have a little bit more of a, a wider range there. But if I get something that is too dropped waist on me, then it looks like I'm wearing like my, you know, I'm a kid wearing my parents' clothing. You know what I mean? Um, like things are just dragging me down a little bit. So you need to be careful. Drop waist, my preference with drop waist is to hit like mid to high hip, like in through here. And that can be a little bit tough to hit, especially because I'm 5'2", so I am fall into the petite category anyway, but um, I have a very short torso, so anything, <laughs> it's hard to hit, get things to hit correctly in this, anything in here, <laughs> it's hard to hit. So um, I was able to adjust for that as well. 
Okay, for the pattern. Okay, so the dress is currently on sale. The dress is $90 at the loft, and it is currently on sale for $89 something. So it's $10 off. It's $90 bucks, or $70, bucks, $80. Bucks. Regular price, I think, was $89 something. It is currently on sale for $79 something. So normally $90. It is $80 on sale right now. I used fabric wise for this. This is a gorgeous See You at Six Viscose, just like just like last month as well. Same uh, company. I got this from June and Lou Fabrics. It is just stunning. I'm going to bring her closer because this fabric is just absolutely stunning. Look at that. It's got this floral print and it's it's like um, drawn botanical. It is so beautiful. It really is beautiful. And you've got these little, um, like, kind of warm pinks, but then these little pops of, like, bright coral that are right through there. Um, the leaves, we've got some cooler greens in here, but then we also have some of the olive greens. Um, and then, obviously, this warm gold um, background that is one of my yellows that I can wear, which works out really well. And I think the yellow for the loft dress is one of my yellows as well. I would probably be okay there. But I can get, you know, obviously exactly what I want. So I got this fabric from June and Lou, um, bought it with my own money, and it, they, she just does still have some. I have it linked down below. But it is $10 for half, a half yard, so um, basically 20 bucks a full yard. I needed two yards to make this dress. This is the Chalk and Notch Ren Dress. Um, it's the Ren Dress and Top. <coughs> I've made the top. Actually, you guys haven't seen it, I don't think. I made myself a top of this pattern um, back around my birthday with um, some red, my birthday's the day after Valentine's Day, so it's a red shirt with little white hearts all over it. Love it. Um, I had done this pattern for a Minerva post back in the spring, and um, I just fell in love with the pattern. So um, this pattern does come with bust cup set front, so it's got an AB front or a CD front. I made the CD front that's great, didn't have to do any kind of a full bust adjustment. Um, I think I shortened the bodice by an inch, which is typ typical for me, what I need, and um, that's it. And everything else is just right out of the, um, right out of the gate. I can't remember what size I made, because I didn't have to pick that when I made this dress, because I just grabbed the pattern pieces I already had. Um, this is a short sleeve lantern sleeve, so it gets kind of poofy and then comes back in. This is the first time I made the short sleeve on this pattern. I think it's a lot of fun. It, got, it has some gathers here at the top of the shoulder. It also has kind of more of a, a bishop sleeve. That's the one that I made for both, the, and it's got a cuff, for um, my dress that I made previously for Minerva, and then also my top. I had made the longer sleeve. So this is my first time making the shorter sleeve, and I think it worked out really great. It's got the buttons that come down, but they stop here at the bottom. Basically, the top is just the dress without the flounce at the bottom. So um, it makes, it's very easy, <laughs> very easy. It does not have a collar, as you can see, but it is faced neckline. There's a facing um, that finishes off the bottom of the sleeve. And then because you just have a rectangle that you're gathering here, it finishes off really easily here at the bottom. Um, I use some muscle shell buttons for my buttons here and yeah that's basically it it was a very quick and very easy so I think the dress is beautiful all right so um two yards for this and because this is wide fabric and um this fabric is 20 bucks a yard so I spent 40 dollars on this dress um plus the pattern which I think is around uh what was it I just looked at it I don't know Let's say, we'll just say 12 for a PDF pattern. This does come in printed pattern um, form as well if you prefer printed patterns, paper patterns. Um, so I have about $50 in this dress, $52 in this dress. Um, we could round up even to 55 if we like to include tax and uh, shipping for the fabric. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, yes. So we'll say 55 as compared to 80 on sale. So already we're saving and I have a dress that fits me perfectly in fabric that I know is going to wear and wash beautifully. I've now dealt with the CU at 6, both their French Terry and their um, Viscose, and I have had zero issues with it. It's a fantastic product. And then for the jacket here. Okay, so this is the um, Avril, the Fiber Mood Avril jacket. And... Um, the cinch jacket from Loft here is on sale right now for 90, 99 Yes, the jacket on Loft is normally 120 and it's on sale for 100 right now. I think that this pattern is like a 
almost a perfect dupe for the, the love jacket. I mean, the pockets, it's a gusseted pocket, um, the little drawstring here at the bottom, uh, the sleeve, the collar, everything is a dupe. And you, I could have made this in a cotton twill and made it even more similar, but I wanted something with a little bit more drape. Because this is a crop jacket in that it hits, you know, high hip, um, I wanted something with a little more um, drape so it didn't get too boxy on me. And um, I had used, this is the Tinsel Twill from uh, Style Maker Fabrics. I've used it before. She's currently out of the olive colorway, but she does have the evergreen col colorway, which is a little darker, but it would still go really well with this fabric. So if you are interested in completely recreating this, they, she does have a darker green. Um, it's a little cooler green, but um, it, would, it would go with this fabric just fine. Um, but I've used this before for a pair of pants and for... What else? I've used this for a couple of things. I can't remember what else. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, it works perfectly as this jacket. Um, I, gosh, what size did I make? I picked the size based on my full bust because it does have a lot of ease. I would probably be fine buying the jacket from Loft. I think there's enough ease in it that it wouldn't. Ha I could buy it to fit my shoulders and I would not have any issues. So that wasn't really the big issue with the Loft jacket. Um, other than I just prefer to have something with a little bit more drape for these jackets. So I was able to change my fabrication um, and pick fabric that went really well with what I've, you know, got here. And, I mean, Loft does have petites, so there's a, ch I don't even know if this comes in petites, but that would shorten things and make things proportionally a little bit better for me. Um, I did shorten the sleeves of these an inch. I left the body as is, though, because it's a pretty crop jacket, and I think it worked out perfectly. Um, the pattern calls for buttons to finish off the front, but I went with snaps instead. It does have a, a hidden button placket, so there you can't really see them on the front, but you can see them on the pockets. And it's got this really cool gusseted pocket that I think looks neat. And then I finished off the um, inside. So this pattern has the um, grommet or the buttonhole, whatever you decide to use for your drawstring on the inside of the jacket. You could put it on the outside if you wanted to, um, and it would be a little bit more like the inspiration jacket, but I mean, I think it works fine. But then you can cinch it up and wear it cinched or wear it loose, whatever your preference. I use shoestrings for my drawstrings. It's just my favorite because they have finished ends and you can buy them in a whole bunch of colors and a whole bunch of lengths. So. That is my preference for that. You can get any kind of shoestring on Amazon. So that's where mine came from. So that's kind of it. The other cool thing about this jacket is it had, it's a raglan and it has this really cool point that's right here. And I think it's really cool because um, you can see the difference in, this is a twill weave, it's a tinsel twill. So you can see your tinsel twill marks and then because things are cut differently, um, it goes a different direction kind of on the sleeve and I think that that makes a really cool effect um, through there. Uh, then the back sleeve is it goes into a yoke back here as well that I think is really cool. So just a really cool pattern. It went together again really easily and um, I mean I think I have a really close dupe for <laughs> for um, what I've got uh, at the loft look. Now, okay, this jacket. So this jacket, again, $100. Um, it's currently on sale for $100. Now, the Tinsel Twill is more expensive. It is wide. I needed a um, ooh, yard and a half. I think I got a yard and a half, maybe two. We'll just round up to two. Um, I can't remember what the pattern calls for. I, I picked what the pattern called for. Um, this is $28.99 a yard, so $29 a yard. We'll round up to $30 just for tax and all that kind of stuff. So I have about $60 in this jacket um, for fabric and then another 10 for the pattern. So I have about $70 of um, my money in this jacket. But again, it's fabric that I know is gonna be really, really great. I was able to get snaps instead of buttons, which I prefer. Um, and it fits me well. <laughs> um, I've got big seam allowances if I need to do any altering later on down the road. Um, yeah, so I'm really only saving tw monetarily $20, but again, I'm buying something that's going to fit me great and that I'll be able to wear for years to come. So, loving this. So again, it's important to take into context not just the monetary value of our fabric and our supplies. We also need to take into account our time, although for most of us, 
we're sewing because it's our mental health exercise, it's our therapy, it's our creative outlet. So I don't ever include my time in the cost of my garments because this is something I would be doing anyway um, for myself and for my family, uh, just because I need this in order to stay healthy. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's more. There is um, you know less impact to the environment because we are buying what we need, not making a whole bunch of things that may not get sold or, you know, not using fabric economically just because it's easier to cut things out this way and that sort of thing. Um, so I do find it to be more economical and more environmentally friendly. Um, yeah, just reducing our carbon footprint, which is exactly what I said in last month's video, so I won't reiterate myself anymore. <laughs> So there we have it guys, that is today's video. I hope you've enjoyed the Sew the Look and maybe give these patterns a try. I've been very impressed with both of them and uh, would make both of them again. So, well, I mean, I've made the Ren dress. This is my third iteration of that pattern. So, and you guys haven't seen the first two. Hmm, need to make sure and remedy that here uh, this winter. All right guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Hope you get some sewing in. I will be back on Friday to show you the um, semi-formal dress that I made for my daughter for her homecoming dance. Um, it was a lot of fun to make this one. She looked beautiful in it, not that I'm biased, and I can't wait to show you all the details on that on Friday. Have a good week. I hope you get some sewing in, and I'll see you again on Friday. Bye.